Hi, welcome. Simon here and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll walk you through step by step on how to do a screen replacement on an HP Chromebook. So this is the HP 14 and it is a Chromebook. And I would like to show it to you that what happened to my LCD screen. So as you can see that the impact point started at the bottom left corner and it kind of like pixelated the entire screen and you see this little black circle. So those are the dead pixel or the broken LCD screen. So what I need to do is to first turn off the laptop. So by pressing down the power button here on the top right corner, press and hold until the computer shuts off. As you can see that the LCD screen here has no screwdriver or anything that holds holding down the bezel. So in other words, it is double-sided and adhesive somewhat tape onto the bezel and also the clipper so we need to use the metal prying tool to stick it in between that bezel and try to pry it open you're gonna feel a little bit difficult to pry it open because the bezel is double-sided with the sticky tape on it so uh, just take your time and gently try to peel it off as you can so you can see that the double-sided tape this are what tape is being tipping down the bezel so I'll leave it here whatever stays on the bezel I'll just leave it as this because we do need to stick it back later on so do not remove all the double-sided tape because that is uh, we need to stick it back together afterwards, right? So just leave it whatever you can and use the metal prying tool just to kind of cut open what you need to be cut. Work your way around the corner. You don't have to rush by, you know, separating the bezel here. Okay, at this point, what I wanted to do is to find that little space. Press and hold the power button if it turns back on. Okay, so I was having a bit of a difficulty here at the end of it. Uh, the reason is because the double-sided tape is taping really sticky. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to make sure that this plastic cover, it says do not touch, that is still intact in the back of the LCD screen. So it's pretty much, this is the LCD board, um, the control the display and they ask you do not touch but yeah I'm touching it so anyway it's not a big deal you won't get shocked or anything uh, I want to make sure that this plastic here is intact instead of sticking onto the bezel because if it's on the bezel 
right? And then once I replace with the new screen, that plastic would be still sticking on here. And therefore, when I close it, it wouldn't be taping onto the new screen. So, um, yeah, so I just want to make sure that this thing is staying on the other side of the screen. All right, so once you have done removing the bezel, you can put that on the side here. Uh, we do not need that for now. The next step is to go ahead and remove the LCD screen. So the LCD screen is kind of held down by four screws. As you can see, they are Phillips screwdriver, uh, four screws. Just go ahead and remove them. Okay, once you have removed that four screws, the LCD would just pop right out without any problem because I don't see any double-sided tape that's taping down the LCD screen. So you want to flip the screen towards your body, so meaning towards yourself. At this point here, you can see that the 30-pin um, connector is still connected to the LCD screen. What you want to do is you want to get this tape not sticking down the LCD screen. So kind of peel it backwards. You don't have to peel it off, leave it on. I just want you to peel it so that you can slide that cable away from your body, meaning sliding towards that direction, and then just kind of um, leave it as this. So at this point, the entire LCD screen will just come right off. Now the next part is to take a look at the manufacturer model number so for this one it says b140 xtn02.e right so this is the model for the lcd screen what i'm going to do for you is to link that lcd screen in the description below so go ahead and check my youtube description where it would direct you to either Amazon or eBay where you can find the exact same screen for this replacement process as well as the um, the tools that you need the screwdriver and the prying tool that you need for this repair um, check it out in the link of the description below alright so let's just assume the new screen arrived okay I know this is not the new screen, this is still my cracked screen, the original screen, but I just wanted to show you the process on how to uh, do the screen replacement. Assuming the new screen arrived, what you want to do is to do a reverse process, right? So it's very simple. The new screen arrived, you bring it back here. You want to align that the connector with the screen, so kind of like angle at the right position like this. Slide it back in. So it's very simple, so slide it in, push it all the way in, okay, tuck it in and get the tape, pull it a little bit, make sure that it is sticking firmly. So you just want to make sure that the cable is not loose and is inserted firmly. Flip the screen up, let it set, stand up straight and lay it down for all the four screws. So I don't have to show you how to put the screw back in. I'm pretty sure you know how to put those screws back in together. So four screw, Phillips screwdriver, put it in. Once you have done with that process, right? And now we need to put the bezel back together. Okay, if your bezel, right, does not have enough of the double-sided tape to tape it back on, what you can do is you should buy uh, this double-sided red adhesive tape. So I'll link them in the description below. This is the five millimeter, the thickness of the double-sided tape. You can use two millimeter if you want. Uh, they do sell them separately. This is the two millimeter, the thickness of the double-sided tape. So this thing would be for you to stick the bezel back together right so if you're not sure if you still have enough of the uh, the tape buy one of this tape tape it down and you'll be all set to retape the uh, 
the the bezel okay so i just wanted to share with you you do you still can buy the double sided tape uh, if you do not have any uh, tape left or original tape left all right so um, i hope this video is helpful and if you do find the video helpful please smash the like button for me i appreciate you for liking the video i really appreciate that and if you have any question comment below i do reach a comment and i'll answer you um, any of the computer repair stuff all right thanks for watching good luck with the screen repair and bye now